I know this video is going to be shit quality because of the lighting, but, um, I'm sorry. I can't help. Um, I wanted to tell a method that I personally use for all of my head patterning. <clears throat> I do not like duct tape. I don't like masking tape. I don't like any of that. Um, I know people can do it really well. I am not one of those people. I actually... Oh, sorry. I'm trying really hard. I am so sorry. Um, I actually have had a uh, roll of duct tape destroy one of my heads. That was great. My second head. I had to do so many repairs. Anyhow, um, I wanted to show how you can use paper as a patterning tool. Now you might say, paper? Well, I personally say, go to the dollar store, buy a ton of construction paper. It's like 50 cents or so for like a pack this big or whatever. Um, now what we're going to do is... I already, without revealing this head, <clears throat> I actually have a back pattern for this, but this, this is a pattern, but I want to show how to do it. Now, it works best with flat surfaces, and yes, you will have to pin it and cut strips like crazy. You want the pins with the bulbs on the end. The colorful bulbs. Um, if you're lucky and you go to a thrift shop and you actually find them like I did, yay! Thrift stores actually have really decent sewing supplies if you look hard enough. Just not Goodwill. Goodwill shit. Now what we're gonna do is since I just need to get the back of this pattern, I know it's a shit camera angle, I'm sorry. We're gonna lay it down flat, and we're gonna try to align the bottom as best we can. Now we're gonna grab our pins, just stick the pin through the paper. Wanna make sure it goes into the foam. And the stitch that I use is a Jim Henson stitch or a um, blanket stitch usually. Now, what we're going to do is we don't want these because it's not going to transfer to our fur and folding it over is not going to work. We're going to cut. We're going to move the pin. And then we're going to cut. So it's smooth down. Now I only needed to do those two edges. Next, what we're going to do... I'm going to scream if this thing isn't recording. Okay, there we go. Sorry! Anyway, next what we're going to do is take our Sharpie. You want a Sharpie. Specifically, not the color as your thing that you're working on. <laughs> and now what we're going to do is mark the direction of the fur with a big arrow. I know, you guys probably can't see. Now what we're going to do... We're going to write where the top is. I'm too lazy to show. And now... Right where the bottom is. Now, what I like to do is I like to write the first side. And if you have any patterns or whatever, draw them out in a different colored marker. And then just mark everything as a pattern piece. It's like duct tape, but it's better. Because it doesn't involve you to ruin your head with tape. It's also much cheaper. And then next, what you're going to do is take out your pins. Move 
him. Since I already have my pattern, I'm actually going to throw this one out. This is my pattern. As you can see, it's actually marked. I know it's impossible to see it. Hopefully, well, whatever, it's marked. You would take this, put it fur side down, put where you marked fur, everything that you doodled on, you put that down. You want to pin it down to the fur. And then you want to trace around that in a marker. You want to do it as close to the edge as possible on the fur as to not waste the fur, especially when it's friggin' expensive fur. You want to use as little space as possible. You don't want to go right in the middle of the fur. Because if you go right in the middle of the fur, you're going to waste that whole roll or however much you bought. And then, too bad. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.